Hello friends and channel subscribers, Greg here with another uncut, unedited video. I'll title this video Galaxy Tab S6 one year later. Only reason why I didn't want to actually do review on this tablet because there's so many already talented people that speak better, that sell better, tell you how good this tablet is. But what I want to do is to give you an opinion, person that comes from iPad, I had iPad, I think second generation, to Galaxy Tab S2, skipping Galaxy Tab S4 and moving straight to Galaxy Tab S6. I'll give you an opinion how I feel about this tablet, what do you think about price, why did I go for this tablet, and overall thinking forward, should you buy one? Because price is really high. Well, price is really high for iPad too. So which one is for you? First things first. If you are in Apple ecosystem, I highly recommend you would stay with Apple. That's a genuine opinion of person that been on both sides of the fence. I'm not here to tell you which ecosystem is better. It's what you're working with. And it's a perfect choice and I'm glad that we do have choice. I do glad when they push each other in every single uh, niche, whether it's phone, tablet or other devices or smartwatches. The second one is uh, you cannot compare uh, Apple iPads with Android tablets because those are totally different devices. Um, Android would have better specification. When I say better, is everything is relative. However, iPads would have uh, better software integration. And again, you cannot compare them. It's your ecosystem you're working in. I choose to work with YouTube. I choose to work with uh, Google Drive. I choose to run Google Meet. I choose to run Google Duo. I choose to use Google ecosystem. It works for me fine. And when I tried to work on Google Ecosystem from iPad, things were going smooth, but not always. And those little things pushed me into thinking maybe I need Android tablet. So when first I got Galaxy Tab S2, it was great, but it was a tiny bit disappointment because as you may know, as you heard before, the Android tablets are not as refined as Apple. And that's true. Depends what you're using it for. Apple tablets feel smoother. Apple, Apple tablets feels that they they more or better looked after from software perspective, from usability, from anything else. However, I find Android as it evolves, it's getting better, better, and better. And this is how we go to this tablet. My wife has a latest uh, iPad, and I've got latest Android tablet, which both of them approximately same price. And again, there's no better or worse. Her ecosystem is Apple, mine is Android. Where are main differences? I do believe Apple still maintain the software much better. Where I believe Samsung gives you more with the basic package. I use pen extensively. I'm not drawing, but I'm actually manipulating all sorts of things with pen. And that's that it's a gimmick. It's actually a quite good thing to use. Secondly, I do believe screen is still better on, on uh, Samsung tablet. I don't use camera much, but when I use camera much, it's nice and clear. And I do like all the Android integrations. And I would say, if you're coming from Apple ecosystem, stick with Apple. There's no point to go to Android unless you really had enough of Apple. If you use an Android extensively, this should be a tablet of your choice. If you go any less, at some stage after operating system upgrades or multiple application installations, you will see how your tablet slowing down. After a year of usage, this tablet is still as fast as on day one. It never let me down from battery life perspective. It's never let me down of application shutting down on me. It's never let me down in online meetings. It's never let me down in anything. If today, I would have a choice to buy a different tablet, I probably wouldn't. There are really worthy competitors in the market, but today, if you go Android tablet, this is great choice. I just wanted to make a short video so you know that not only specifications are important in the tablet world, it's also what users feel 
as end of end user experience and trust me i've got positive one otherwise i wouldn't i wouldn't buy one or i wouldn't hold one i would go easily back to ipad because it's so easy these days so hopefully i help someone to make choice not from a specifications perspective not from beauty and packaging or unpacking event just from normal day-to-day -day usage to let you know the tablet is well made the tablet is light the tablet is capable the tablet is lasting day whatever you throw at it and it's good for many things i'll put link down below uh, where i got my tablet if you would like click on the link buy um, if you're in australia i do suggest that you actually buy from that link if your logger when you buy from amazon is not saying made for australia which is stupid slogan it does not have two years samsung warranty samsung products never failed on me but i believe if you ever need samsung warranty they provide very good service they're almost in every single big shopping center and in brisbane where i live um, they've got next day fix delivery back to uh back to shopping center if you need help so yeah um, feel free to click on the link um, check it out but if you want you won't be disappointed thank you so much for watching greg from brisbane until next video